Welcome back, Priya. Uh, it's great to have you back. Uh, how's the baby doing? How was your maternity break? Thank you, Anupam. Yeah, it was good. I don't know how six months just flew by. He's still too small, and I'm trying to cope up with work and you know managing at home as well. I have my family currently staying with me, but I don't know how long they'll stay actually, because they have to go back to my hometown, and my uh, husband keeps traveling. So I'm I'm very unclear on how I'm going to manage both fronts. Oh, absolutely, and I think that's that's one of the reasons why we're having this discussion to see how we can you know help you out through this stage. Sure. Uh, what are some of the challenges that you're facing? and uh, what are your thoughts about uh, how you want to manage some of those? Uh, Anupam, uh, one, of course, I don't know too many uh, women in, in, in the team who've come back from a maternity leave. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I'm sure in the organization, in other teams, there would be people who have come back. So um, I would like to, uh, you know, network with a few people to gain experiences, to talk to them about my problems that I'm currently facing, and if they would have faced similar problems, how they have dealt with. And also, you know, if there's some sort of an assimilation program or a coaching program which will help me transform transition to, uh, through this important phase in life. Yeah, absolutely. You don't have to worry about that, uh, Ronita. I will connect you to the diversity team as well as the okay. women's network. And you know, obviously, there is a system in place to support uh, all of this. Uh, you did speak about the, the coaching program or the orientation program. Now, we do organize a group coaching workshop for women returning to work post the maternity leave. Okay. And the broad areas for discussion really are around defining some of your priorities, finding a work-life balance, sharing some of the career stories. And then you know, we have well-reputed external facilitators who uh, kind of conduct these sessions for you. Okay. Uh, it's also a fair bit of uh, peer coaching that happens because okay. you will have other participants along with you. Okay. And some of those relationships that you form during the program continue much after the program does. So, you know, I'm, you should definitely attend this program and I'm more than happy to nominate you for this. Sure, yeah. thank you, Anupam. That's really great. Uh, I'm really thankful that you're my manager. I am not too sure if somebody else uh, would have been in your position, would I have got this much of support? You know, and well, that's that's a bit of a thought, but you know, it's it's a process at City now, not just uh, an offshoot. Because I think I've attended a diversity sensitization workshop myself, along with a lot of my colleagues. I understand about 500 of us have gone through the program by okay. now, and you know, the program has also helped me uncover some of the probably unconscious biases that I've been yeah. dealing with. So it's not a one-off affair. It's not manager dependent. It is now okay. a, a well-ingrained uh, process in City, uh, and this really helps us to have some of these critical conversations at times like these, and also retain the diverse talent that we have. Thank you so much, Anupam. Really grateful for this conversation. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, well, what, uh, just to summarize, what was depicted here is a role play, you know, depicting one of the city practices in diversity that we do. Uh, just to be honest, when we started our journey 2.5 years back, we were not very sure on what we need to do on DNI, what were our challenges. So we started with an intensive cultural audit. <laughs> 